You want to know why it's called the Six Virgin Show? There you go, baby. You got it. Welcome back. <laughs> Kill me, please. I love how Brennan gives me shit for being the quote unquote least virginal of the Six Virgins. It's not my fault. I found a girl and I enjoy her company and she likes mine. And so we get along and just kind of make a connection. <laughs> Sh shove a quick cock up my ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Faggots. Anyway, so um, last, last time on the Six Virgin Show, we didn't suck ass is what we did. We killed the Sonorous Prophet. So now... Um, I don't think I'm ready to fight the siren. Here's all right. Here's the deal. For the siren, I'm I'm taking an antiquarian because their skill set in terms of attacking is actually kind of shitty. But if you make their uh, debuff resistance like really bad, um, like the lowest apparently the okay, major spoiler here, and it's kind of lame of me to have already know this before even doing the battle. But the siren, her like gimmick or whatever you want to call it, is that she'll uh, she'll take you and um, what the fuck am I doing here? Do I want to do I want to level these people up? I can totally level up her and him if I want to. I can get her probably close, maybe halfway there. Ah, oh, shit. Eh, why not? Fuck it. I'm gonna have to start leveling people up soon anyway, right? So. But anyway, um. <clears throat> and I've just like that, I've already lost my train of thought. Incredible. We killed the sonorous prophet. Uh. Fucking. Thing. Did the. Oh, baby. Um. Oh, yeah, I was talking about the siren. So she takes whoever has, uh. The least chance of debuff because her this attack like counts as debuff and she like mind controls them and so brings them to their side and so there that character fights against the other three characters so if she takes the antiquarian which she will as long as that character has the uh, lowest debuff resistance then like fucking that's th basically nothing like the antiquarian is not going to do shit to me <laughs> like seriously look at this look look not an attack flash powder literally does no damage all it does is uh, take away five accuracy buffs uh the I, can, I guess she'll buff the siren by three dodge which is cool or whatever nervous stat oh yeah i almost forgot to say um she gets to use her whole skill set because the game is fucking unfair but anyway nervous stab which is gonna do uh let's see how much damage three to five R three to five damage um <laughs> Festering Vapors, which is not really that big deal. That's probably the Antiquarian's best actual attack. And then this is just a heal, which does literally one. It heals one. Like, the Antiquarian's not going to do shit to me. So that, that would actually make things really easy. But I want to level them up, though, before... Or maybe... No, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe there's no point in leveling them up. Maybe I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, either way, I don't feel like fighting, uh, fighting really. I don't feel like fighting the siren right now. I kind of just want to do a quick, like, little easy quest. Just kind of take things easy. It'll give me a chance to actually be able to talk rather than have to fucking focus on the game the entire time, which would be nice. So, um, yeah. So that's that's what we're doing. Um, there's no reason not to use this on her. I'll throw some trinkets on real quick. I forgot to put on my Blight Resist trinkets for the Sonorous Prophet, but as you can see, it really didn't matter to anyway. So, we'll give him the, the Sun Ring. That's a good fucking, uh, that is a good fucking object. This is actually pretty, pretty solid. 30% healing skills for a healer? Like, come the fuck on, dude. That's amazing. Um, what's his speed? What's his dodge? Not bad. I don't know if I'm going to fuck with it. Oh, God. That really murders your dodge. Christ. And, uh... God, these trinkets are kind of shitty, honestly. Oh, we'll leave that where it is. I'm realizing I have a shit ton of problems with characters having diseases for whatever reason. Um, but I mean, you know, it's whatever. 
I actually have fucking money now because we stocked up so well in that last fight, which was fucking amazing. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, why did I take three? I don't need three. Take I don't need three. What the fuck am I doing? Uh, what are we going to? The weld? The, the wield? Take some more herbs. Probably. It's good enough. Um, but yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> let's see. My car is finally fixed. I've talked about my car before and the issues it was having. I haven't kept up. I realized I should have kept more up to date on what was going on with it while I was doing the series and I didn't. So that, I'm sorry about that. But I, I'll do a quick recap. <clears throat> well, first I'll wait for the magnificent Wayne June to say his piece. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. So, way back when, my car was having this problem where uh, I would start driving and then all of a sudden, I would, oh wow, nice dodge, you fucking cunt. I would be driving and uh, I would press the accelerator and the RPM meter would just drop and like nothing would happen. I was like, what the fuck? Triumphant pride precipitates uh, a dizzy let's go for it. God damn it. No, not a- Oh, thank God. I was just about to say, not another fucking disease. Please. Oh, these fuckers. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, why did we get surprised? My torch was fine. There's no reason. Ah, you cunts. Whatever, I'll buff myself. I don't even give a shit. But, um... Anyway, so... It was having that issue, and then the other thing it would do is the elect the uh, electronics in the car, like the radio and stuff. Oh my god, are you fucking joking? Really? Oh god. F fuck this game. Christ. Uh, can they kind of stun them? Fifty percent chance to. I'm just gonna kill this one actually. It'd be a better idea, I think. As the enemy crumbles. <sighs> fuck the weld. The wield weld. F what the fuck? Fuck it! Anyway! Uh, the electronics would keep rolling, but the engine would die, alright? The engine would just fucking die. It would go down like the Hindenburg. Warm, pathetic, and just poorly designed. That was... Well, that's not actually what was wrong with it, but you get what I mean. Well, I guess you could technically blame it on... Poor designing, but I'll get to that. I'll get to that. So, uh, next, here I am sitting on the fucking side of the highway or interstate. My fucking car isn't working. It's like, what the fuck, dude? Like, the engine won't even run. It used to be that that shit would get fucked up, and then I could just... Oh, great. Awesome. Another dodge. I could just restart the car, and, like, it wouldn't be a... It would turn back on, and it would start running. I'd be like, okay, well, it's fucking weird, and I'm definitely gonna need to, you know, get it fixed, but whatever. My dad's a really good mechanic, so I wasn't, like, too worried about it. I think I mentioned that in the one, the, like, three-minute video I had where I talked about some car issues I was having, but, um... So, yeah, I wasn't, like, too concerned about it. I was like, yeah, you know, it's not a big deal. It's whatever. So, um... So I was having this problem where that fucking engine would kill. And eventually... Oh, that is fucking... That's pretty good. That's a cool... It looks... That's a dope-ass looking trinket, too. I need a Houndmaster. Seriously. I need a Houndmaster ASAP. Um, so... The car. So I'd be stuck on side. I, that did happen to me one time, which was my fault because I knew the car was going to kill because it slowly got worse and worse. Like it, before, it, it would do it rarely, and then it got to the point where it was a guarantee that it would do it about 20 minutes after I like drove away from my house. And so I, I drove like 10 minutes down the interstate, even though I knew the car would kill. So that was just my fault for being a fucking retard. Uh, oh, pardon me. You know, for s trying to steal it, that was literally the best thing. Uh, that could have happened. Ugh. Fuck. Nature herself. Call me. To the spreading corruption. Fix my party real quick. Now we go. With God, I love the writing so much for this game. I'm trying to emulate it in my Snapchat stories, as I mentioned before. But anyway, so, okay. Let's kill these fuckers as soon as possible. If I can kill them before one of them can get their stupid fucking cytokinesis bullshit, then I'll be set. Okay, alright, slime, that's fine. Oh, and he missed anyway. We're good, we're good. 
Okay, all right. This is looking good. We got a lot of potential. Oh, I know exactly what to do here. Zealous accusation. Yes. Defensive. Alright, uh, what can I do for the Eldritch Altar? Let me see. Oh, I never wrote it down for the, uh, wield. Fuck. I'm just gonna ignore it. It's not worth the risk. This, I know what to do for. This is gonna... No, it'd be a waste, because it's just gonna give me food anyway. Ah, eh, fuck it. You know, this is... I hate to brag or sound like a chotch, but, like... So far, this is pretty easy dungeon. But, uh, anyway, so... You know, my dad's looking at the car, and he's trying to figure out, like, what the fuck's wrong with it, which, if he's struggling to figure out the issue, then you know it's it's a mystery. Because, like, that man has been around the block as far as automotives go. He knows what he's doing. I love that, that caption so much. Sometimes a tree is just a tree. But anyway, um, so it's like, yeah, what the fuck's the deal, you know? Well, he figured it out today, finally, and, uh, turns out the problem was... Some fucktard, uh, the, I'm trying to think how to even explain this. There's the ignition, which obviously starts the car and, and keeps it running and stuff like that. You know, cranks it up and shit. Um, it has some coils that go to it, and they, I, god damn, this is gonna be a really short episode, sorry. Um, they have some coils that go to it, and... Someone like fucked up the wiring to the to the plugs that kind of like allowed it to run to Really give her blight are you serious get rid of that shit um the light the promise of safety oh Jesus Christ, okay Sure return the Hamlet. Why not? Easy money, right easy trinket easy uh, crest easy everything really a little too easy? Honestly? I mean, shit. Wow. Uh, Pieve and, they, and uh, Lissou and Guideville didn't... Well, I figured they those two wouldn't level up, but PV not leveling up actually kind of caught me off guard. She would have had to level up. There's no way she wouldn't. Like, goddamn. But, uh... Yeah, so they put a little aluminum clamp to connect the wires together, the wiring... And it was just a piece of shit that didn't really work. So my dad had to pull it off, strip it off, remove all the tape that was An holding them together. Free upgrade for armor! Dude! Dude! <laughs> oh, he's, he even sits outside. Oh, that's so badass! He, like, sits outside the shop. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, and I already have the... Wait, can I, uh... What do I- Oh, that's so much. There's no way I'll get that. That's impossible. Damn, that sucks. On the plus side, I can go upgrade these fuckers. So, let's do that. Oh, if only I had not already upgraded his armor. Damn. Wait a minute, can he- Why can't he get a free upgrade? What the fuck? Oh, it was only- Oh, it was only one. Oh, I thought it was just, like, for all of them. Damn, if I had known that, I wouldn't have just randomly... I don't even know who I upgraded. I think I upgraded her. Oh, that's fine, actually. She's worth it, I'd say. Having There's nothing wrong with having two Hellions. Plus, uh, pretty soon I'm going to increase my roster size, I imagine. Let me see. Uh, yeah, oh, well, twi Jesus Christ. I'm so lacking in like portraits, deeds, and shit. kind of blows, to be honest with you. I want to go do quests that focuses just on getting... Oh, yep, I figured that would happen. I can now fight the Wizen Tag, and now that, that is a boss fight that I fucking hate, let me tell you. Also, let me go set up, um, yeah, let me go see who I need, well, I don't think I need to even de-stress anybody. Oh, you know what I can do, though, for sure? I can absolutely treat some of these fucking diseases. My god. Yes, get rid of that shit. Uh, who else, who else, what do you have? You have, oh, syphilis, fuck that. Get rid of that. There we go. Very cool. So anyway, so my dad redid this shit and then he uh, he soldered the wires together and now the car is running smoothly. So presumably that's the problem. Only time will tell if I have any other issues, but uh, hopefully not. So yeah, that's uh, yeah, 
It's a battle I got. I'm not going to sit here and blab on when there's really nothing to do because that would just be fucking boring. I like to talk while there's something going on, so... Alright, I need, I need to start using these fuckers. I need to pick one of the easier quests. What do I have available? Just let me see for next time. What is this? Medium. Medium. Fuck. A short? Okay, I'm, I could probably do this. It's for it. Yeah, I'll do this next time. Uh, it's just a short quest. Probably won't be too difficult. And I can use a bunch of my level zeros. Um, and start leveling them up. I guess I'll try using an antiquarian that might actually be a bad idea because of just how shitty they are, but uh, we'll see. You know, I might I might use one or two level ones and like upgrade their armor because uh, going in with just level zeros and no upgraded armor or weapons is kind of a shitty idea. So we're gonna upgrade this leper because yeah, he's the only leper I have. Shit, so I kind of need to. Um, I'm kind of reluctant about taking him honestly because I kind of need to protect his ass. Eh, it'll probably be easy. We did a quest in there just now. It was pretty fucking easy, so. But that is for next time. And so I will see you next time where I try not to fuck up my leper. I, I love, it's a leper. How can you not fuck him up? He's already inherently fucked. That's kind of mean. Oh, well. Okay, bye-bye.